Hello, drawing and painting friends. I'm sorry I'm not with you uh, this morning. Um, I want to today, hopefully you enjoyed the vid video on Leslie Barlow um, and that you learned a little bit about the anatomy and structure of the mouth. And so I wanted to move on and just kind of talk a little bit about the teeth and drawing the teeth. And this is the scary hard part. I do not enjoy drawing teeth. I think they're always like a challenge to do. So I started to outline it in. And so you can see I've drawn it in and I've started to shade it. Now, I will begin by, so we've all done this part. So I've drawn it in, we can all draw. Now it's to get the shadows and the shading in. And that's what actually gets the teeth to pop. And I have my photograph here and looking at my teeth and I actually took a pencil because I got distracted by the highlights there and trying to get the shape of what each tooth was doing. And you'll notice there that there are highlights on there. There's little shiny glimmers on the enamel. And that's what we need to think about to get it to give that three-dimensional quality so it pops. So in a lot of ways, I think of teeth as cylinders. So we have underneath here, I've started, and I wanna round up the tops. Now we wanna be careful so it doesn't look like we've got a teeth full of corn, but I want to just gently put in some shadows. And unfortunately, my dog started scratching at this paper, so I have some scratch marks. I That was my own fault. She's just a little bit of a devil and likes to get into things. So here is I've got my big front tooth and I want to just gently kind of work my way across that tooth. And then underneath, I am going to dark it and I'm only using my 2H pencil. I am not going to the dark side right away, but I could, I could start to get underneath this and I am just getting that darker value underneath those teeth. Now you'll see I just have the little lines for my front teeth. I don't have the full on and I might just not worry about those too much at the moment. Maybe just give them a slight little tap of value. You don't want to do too much. And then also I'm looking at the tops and I don't want to just do do too much, I wanna leave a lot of that white. So here I'm doing the shadow of the other tooth. So it's like overlapping, cascading back. So here is my front tooth. And I wanna get a little bit of the shadow in there. And I'm feeling good about that tooth. So that is how you approach teeth. And it's a lot of back and forth. And I might even take one of my baby uh, blending stumps and just kind of work that out. And there should be some ba baby blending stumps up uh, on my desk somewhere. There should be some, or in a desk drawer where Mr. Jeff is. Those are around and we can dig those out. And I am coming in on um, Saturday, so we can, I'll, if we can't find them, I'll pull them out. All right, so you can see how this is a lot of back and forth. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the time lapse on and I'm gonna time lapse and draw this out. So when we think about our lips, we wanna think about the low lights and the highlights and the darker spots. So here we go. I'm gonna put the time lapse on and you can watch me do this. I also forgot to talk about the filter in here. And that's a little, that little space, that little divot. And I'm gonna be putting in some shadows around here as well. And I think that video, the Proco video, does such a wonderful job of describing everything that I think right now it, it'll be just fun to see how I do in a time lapse. So that is what's next.
All right, friends, hopefully that was helpful. Um, tomorrow I will finish up the other side of the face. I will do a draw along with the ear. We'll talk about hair and many different types of hair. And then you're gonna do your practice, turn in your practice one on Friday, on Monday. You must, must, must have your final photo and you'll need at home, you'll need a ruler and there'll be paper uh, at school for you guys to do your final on. I send paper home to all of you who are at home. If you can't find your paper, you can always use a sketchbook. So I hope you have a good day, make good choices, and remember that kindness matters in this very big world. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends.